waiting at the bus stop, jamming to some hip hop, checking on my wristwatch, clock is going tick tock. As he made his way down the block, coming towards my direction with his face hidden beneath that faded fitted. He's a boy that never goes home, who thinks that selling dope and having high hopes makes him groan. Late night on street corners, protecting urban borders, cleaning blocks for bloods, and selling rocks for what? The eyes do not lie, so speak to me without saying a word. Boom, 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 boom. Love blindfolded, tongue bleeding, veins burning, eyes popping, bodies going limp. And it's all because of silence. When we're nervous, do you know why we get those tiny little butterflies in our stomach? No? It's because the words that we hope hold inside are, are much more colorful than those insects that dance around in the night sky. Never be afraid to speak. Well, what you hold inside. In a growing environmental takeover of ways to talk, the physical capability of our voices have become lost in the middle of innovation landscape. According to author Diane Beck, the simplicity of vocalizing what we feel is now being replaced by the captivity to stay silent. However, what becomes of our self-awareness if we fail to vocalize what we feel? The following program argues that our voices are not just a something that can be replaced, but rather a fundamental tool in the process of finding ourselves. With poetry, Silence by Team New York of Brave New Voices 2011, Silence is Deadly by Poet Ezekiel, Butterflies by Stockton, and Untitled by MJ. A program, a poetry, that urges you to break that silence. Oh, I can teach you how to kill without choking, stabbing, or oh, shooting. Now you just gotta walk by someone and do this. <laughs> and it's funny how I'm here the one constructing this class, you see. I was not the good Samaritan. <laughs> mm -mm. I was just someone who did not understand why I'm washing my hands after taking this bloodbath. Oh, but check it. Here is the lesson. Death? Well, that's just as equivalent to laugh, when laugh is unmentioned. He stared at me and I smiled back. Never once ignoring the bloodstains on his shoes, he was a gangster. And I never understood how such a bright boy could be such a coward, because that's what they all are. Cowards who hide beneath their colors, blue and red type brothers, who leave their sisters and mothers, how could he? A drug. And these crackheads draw crack lines around their mouths because their voices have been murdered. And we are the dilated pupils, eyes to enlighten the consequences of this addiction. And yes, silence is just as loud, loud enough to blind where they can't see the light, no sight left where they can't see bright, darkness in their ears, darkness in their mouths. Evil, echoing like children trapped in the haunted houses of their minds. Oh, never mind loud monsters, because silence... is way scarier. The stuttering words of my father were more inspirational to me than any Rocky film or, or Tupac song I ever heard. When he was my age, he had a speech impediment. So you never catch him on stage here like I am today. Because every single time that he tried to utter a few words or, or a phrase, people would roll their eyes and, and sweat would roll down to his eyes and he was so afraid that he would roll his uh, Eyes, and if they keep struggling desperate for war to survive, now you just keep your mouth shut. Now that's home, sir. Oh, but check me. Most Christians be so eager to just extend their hands out and bless me, but when I'm here struggling with sin, they'll just shut their mouth, say something sweet, like they don't want to offend me. This familiar face standing beside me as if we never shared the same last name. Cameron. For all those times you pushed me from the doorway just to kiss me with your piff, I prayed for your direction.
I pray that you never forget mommy's and daddy's lessons and how that my love for you would never lessen. I pray that a bullet would never befriend your skin. I prayed that one day you'd wake up and realize that being a brave street soldier in the dark still made you a coward come sunrise. No sunlight will protect you from this boogeyman popping the lock in the doors of my <sighs> breath. So scream your evil. Speak until your voice goes blind. I want to hear your screams break dance against my eardrums. Send your voice through vibrations, the boom, boom, boom box of your heart. So start. Speak out. D don't be like me. Dad, even though that your sentence is broke midway, like a CD with too many replays, I want to be just like you. Because you work so tirelessly from sunrise to sunset just to make sure that I was set. And though your words never came out naturally, your worth ethic never even had any stumbling or stabbering. Shh, don't mention it. Shh, just roll with it. Shh. It's a generation of hush, hush mode, isms, and honestly, it's killing us. Because if I'm not speaking life into you, I am killing you. Because really, if I just had one adjective to describe the type of killers we'd become, it would be serial. <laughs> and I am serious. Just look at us. We swallow our pride, keep our lips sealed, and pretend that we are moms. And sometimes I feel like you may be colorblind. Because I don't understand how you see strength in your blacks and reds when you got blacks and blues tattooed all over you. So tell me, what set do you belong to when your lips are saying subu and your eyes are swimming in crip colored kisses mixed with hints of black lipstick? And now you've got an appetite for revenge. Too proud to bleed for the bullet yet quick to let the fingertips that triggers? Your firearms are too short to box with God. If you took just two seconds to think how much you have offended God, then you'll realize how much you deserve death as much as they do. Because if you got something to say, you say it. You let it show. Because really, holding a grudge is just the same as holding a gun. With the intention of having someone rest in peace. Why else do you think they say, speak now or forever hold yo? Click, click, peace. Don't be afraid to speak. I won't, Dad. So I'm here to release all the butterflies you had in your stomach when you were a kid. I'll say everything that you wanted to say when you were my age. I'll go to classrooms, I'll raise my hand, and I'll say five times ten equals fifty. I'll say it for you, Dad. And all your fighting means nothing anymore. Because in hell, you will no longer have your boys waiting to die for you. Only demons waiting to dance with you. Holding out roses that used to be white before you use them to clean up the messes you made when you were still alive. What were you thinking, you coward? As my bus pulls up, I take my seat. And I silently pray to God that he'll forgive me for calling you a coward. Because who am I to call you a coward when I didn't even have the strength to tell you how I felt? You'll never know how I felt. And the tears roll down my eyes so fast to prove that blood is indeed thicker than water. My brother, and we are the apprentices, imprinted with the golden seal of silence, adding virtue to our voices, so speak to me without saying a word. Boom, 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 boom. Say here, see here, speak here. I am here with my own vision, speaking the truth I see with my eyes closed.